Today on BRS TV, we're testing the gyre in a new episode of BRS Test Lab Flow Dynamics. Hi, I'm RT, your host of BRS TV, where each week we cover a new topic related to reefing. This week, we're taking an in depth look at the Max Spec gyre. Flow Dynamics is an investigative series that helps visualize pump and powerhead flow patterns throughout the tank, making the decision for which is right for your tank easier. The gyre is a pretty cleverly designed pump which utilizes dual horizontal rotors and an easy to learn controller to combat dead spots and produce an evenly distributed flow to keep your corals and fish happy and healthy. There are three main modes the gyre can run in, constant, pulsing, and alternating in addition to the feeding mode. Constant mode is likely the simplest to use and set up, but it's also the least varied to the modes offered by the gyre. In constant mode, the intensity and the direction of the rotors can all be adjusted to fit your preferences. When using pulsing mode, the gyre ramps up to a customizable percentage at an adjustable rate. This essentially creates a pulse, allowing for pretty turbulent flow throughout the tank. Alternating mode is unique in the fact that the direction the rotors are spinning reverses at an adjustable rate, varying the direction and the dispersion of the flow pattern. If you'd like to learn more about the individual modes, mounting options, and the pump itself, check out our other video on the MaxSpec Gyre here. For this test, we use the larger model of Gyre, the Gyre 150. The smaller model, the 130, has a similar flow pattern that would look comparable to a scaled down version of our test. To start, we oriented the gyre horizontally on the side of the tank near the top. This is one of the recommended mounting locations from MaxSpec and likely one of the most commonly used. In our 180 gallon test tank, with the gyre set to constant mode, you can really get a feel for how this pump generates its unique flow. Switching the rotor direction over to reverse while on constant mode has a pretty big impact on the overall intensity of the flow, but I could see where this would be useful in a smaller tank or in a tank that requires lower flow. Alternating mode offers the best of both worlds when it comes to the direction of the rotor's rotation. As you can see, this mode provides some pretty random flow throughout the tank. Pulsing mode offers some unique benefits as well as the ability to generate a pretty significant wave. Mounting the pump vertically in the corner of the aquarium on the back pane would probably work best in a cube tank.
here the rotors are spinning in reverse. And again, the best of both worlds with alternating mode. When mounting the pump vertically on the side panel, the flow works its way in a circle around the tank, with the most intense flow likely keeping any detritus behind your rockwork suspended in the water column where it can be removed by filtration. Here the gyre is running in reverse. This is a gyre in alternating mode. We're adding a second pump now for the remainder of the testing to help show how the two flow patterns interact with each other. In this test here, we're running both pumps in constant mode on the back wall of the tank. Here the gyre is running in reverse. Now we mounted the pumps on the sides facing each other. I think this would be really cool in a tank that's aquascaped to two separate islands with the flow meeting in the middle.
Here the rotors on each gyre are set to reverse. This configuration is one of our favorites. The two gyres hooked up to a CJ wave surfer controller on opposite cycles to create extremely randomized flow. If you found this flow review helpful and would like to see more in the future, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because we release new videos every week. If you have any questions or you want to share your thoughts with other reefers, check out the comments area down below. See you all next week with another episode of BRS TV.